month. New at four, the Phoenix Fire Department is looking at ways to ensure the safety of our community. And part of that effort is adopting new technology into their daily operations. 12 News journalist Rachel Cole joins us now near Camelback Mountain with more details on the drone program that simultaneously increases safety for all parties involved. Rachel. Hey there, we're getting a live demonstration of the effectiveness of these drones and the training fire crews go through to know when to fight from the skies. We can get this one up in the air within two minutes or less. Captain Scott Douglas with the Phoenix Fire Department showing 12 News the versatility in various scenarios where drones are needed. It helps us in not only mountain rescues, brush fires, structure fires, hazmat calls. It helps us serve the community when it comes to solar panel uh, inspection. In the next couple years, the FAA predicts about 30,000 drones working across the nation to navigate dangerous situations alongside our first responders. A few summers back, we had a 117 degree day and we had three mountain rescues on, on Camelback Mountain. We had several of our members go into Rabdo. Uh, they were very ill, they had to go to the hospital. With the birds in tow, they can work smarter, not harder, especially in our summer heat. It allows us to be able to find patients up on the mountain with, before we send our crews out. And this isn't a substitution for ground crews. If in fact there is a victim who needs aid on the side of the mountain and you guys are able to throw the drone up and find them, uh -huh. I mean, is there still going to be a crew that's working their way up? I mean, nobody's Absolutely. getting up that thing in 10 minutes. Absolutely. So this is a complement of... of our consortium. So when a mountain rescue is dispatched, all of those resources are coming. The drone gets on scene. They get up quickly. They provide active intelligence to help us be able to arrive to that patient. As he's getting the drone in place, firefighters are responding from different points of the mountain. Right now, roughly 15 firefighters are licensed to operate the different drones within the department with daily trainings to stay in the know. Constantly training, constantly making sure we're the tip of the spear when it comes to uh, UAS or unmanned aircraft systems and quote unquote drone uh, apparatus and, and effectivity. Ultimately, alleviating crews from unnecessary search and rescue operations or even exposure to dangerous chemicals as the drones can go in and get readings prior. This saves our members a uh, significant amount of time and, and the resources that can stay in the community to, to run other medical calls, fire calls, whatever those might be. This inside look providing even more transparency about what these crews do to ensure the safety of us and our families. For more details, just go to 12news.com. We're in Phoenix. Rachel Cole, 12.